This is Inside Yale Football, brought to you by Yale All Access. Welcome to another installment of Inside Yale Football. We're joined by the head coach of the Bulldogs, Tom Williams, again. Yale with a 2-1 and one record, coach. Uh, mm -hmm. A loss to Lehigh yes. on Saturday that I know you want to just get behind you and focus on Dartmouth. Um, what do you take away from that game on Saturday? Well, the one thing our guys didn't do is they didn't give up. You know, I thought we played for 60 minutes as hard as we could. Obviously, we didn't play as well as we could, but uh, we thought after looking at the film that no one gave up. Guys played extremely hard for all 60 minutes, and uh, everything that happened on Saturday was self-inflicted. So if we can get those things fixed, we'll still be a, a really good football team. Some things, I think, going ahead to Dartmouth, you look at the league. Mm -hmm. We talk every year about how the league is unpredictable. You can have close games, and you've certainly experienced that already here. Mm -hmm. When you look at Dartmouth coming in, it's a big game. It's your second league game. Mm -hmm. You have it at home. What do you see as some of the keys to going 2-0 and in the league? Well, you know, you said it's a big game. I think they're all big. When you only play a 10-game schedule, you really have got to, uh, to put emphasis on all 10 games. So uh, the, big, the big part of this game is that it is a league game, and uh, we are back at home. So uh, we just got to get back to playing Yale football. As I said to our team, nothing's broken. Uh, there's no need to panic. We just got to make sure that we make the plays that we're capable of making. And we didn't do that at all very much on Saturday. So we got to get back to doing that. Personality wise, approaching the middle point of the season, almost a third of the way mm -hmm. through. How do you see this team has grown from the time you got them on August 19th, the start of the camp to now? Well, we've continued to develop depth. There's some young players that are starting to play for us now as we get, you know, towards the middle part of the season. Uh, and that's exciting to see. But uh, the biggest thing, I think, is that our confidence is still intact. Even though we had a setback on Saturday, uh, no one was hanging their heads and saying, woe is me. We knew exactly what the issues were. And I think that's a sign of a mature team. You know, Mike Tomlin talked about uh, the, the defeat that they had against the Ravens and how they had a stench over them. They got to get the stench off. And that's about where we are. There's no uh, gnashing of teeth. We just got to go back to work. You mentioned an NFL example. You, of course, were an NFL coach for two years mm -hmm. before coming to Yale with the Jaguars you were, you look at NFL games and try and take lessons from them and mm -hmm. teach them to your guys because they're watching them on Sundays too. What are some of the things you know you think in the NFL that you really take to the coaching job at Yale? Well, you're, you're only as good as your, your last gunfight, I like to say. There are a lot of good teams that get beaten on Sundays because they don't play their best football. Uh, the league considers them good teams, but the best team doesn't always win. It's the team that plays the best. I think you see repeated examples of that on Saturdays and Sundays. Your seniors on this team on both sides of the ball, we're going to have um, Will McHale and Matt Vitaglia from the defense side. Yes. But on both sides of the ball, and your seniors really are showing that they're stepping up and taking that senior leadership thing mm -hmm. to heart. Is that something you're seeing as well? Absolutely. We've got a strong uh, uh, leadership core. Uh, we say Jordan's our captain, but he's got several lieutenants on our football team. Uh, and those guys take that very seriously. I think this is obviously the strongest uh, leadership we've had just because this is the most guys we've had in that position so uh, they are taking it very seriously and I expect them to have a great impact uh, on the rest of the season. I didn't mean to advance Will McHale he is a junior but <laughs> sometimes he plays like a senior. There's but, no question. <laughs> um, he, he is certainly one of Jordan Haynes lieutenants as you say. Mm -hmm. I want to ask something about you do at practice yes. because uh, it's, I asked you about it off camera last week mm -hmm. and talking about being the head coach but finding a way to get involved with all the different positions. Yes. And, your approach when you're out there on the practice field and what you might be doing for the fans who don't see that. Well, I, I've spent a lot of time with the offense. You know, as a defensive coach, I feel like we've got a, I've got a good handle on what we're doing defensively and why we do things. And we have laid the foundation for what we want to do. But I get a chance to touch the other side of the ball quite frequently at practice so I can see the quarterbacks and their drill preparation uh, and all the running backs. And certainly the offensive line is a very coordinated uh, position. So that allows me to touch everybody, which I enjoy as a head coach. You talked about on uh, Saturday guys really giving it their all. Mm -hmm. And one person who I thought, you know, gets mentioned for that especially is Alex Thomas, who mm -hmm. really had some of his best runs of the year, I thought. If, is he continuing to develop each week, even as a senior, showing that you do get better each week? Absolutely. And the one thing we said to Alex is that he needs to finish runs better, meaning when it gets to the last uh, defender, lower his shoulder and get us a couple of tough extra yards. And I think he's really taken that to heart. If you've watched us play the last three games, you see Alex get into the secondary and instead of making the safety try to miss him or run out of bounds, he'll lower his shoulder and run through a guy. And that is, uh, to me, a sign of his development as a senior football player. All right, well, thanks, Coach. We, uh, we appreciate your time as always and your look at how things are with the Yale football team and certainly a, 
a very excited team and uh, ready to get back to league play. We can't get back. We can't wait to get back to work, Ron. Thank you. All right, that's Tom Williams, the head coach of the Bulldogs.